All right. Um, interesting start. We'll get you, you, you. We'll buy everything, honestly. <laughs> Just buy everything. Um, we got the increased DPS. We could turn this one to a torch, which is nice. Thorns and then garlic. Just buy everything from the from the first thing you see. Really good, actually. I'm um, going to get some broom with a little bit of regeneration as well. Ah, damn! We even we lost. Fucking lost. Look at that. That's okay. I'll take that L. Let's get the space. Let's get the wooden buckler. Turn that into a spike shield, which is beautiful. We can get ourselves a banana, which is amazing. And we'll just roll with this. I think that's straight. Okay. I think that is great. Going against a poison dude. We should beat this guy because our DPS is just insane right now. Uh, considering. Nice combination there as well. Um, Let's go healing herb. It's on sale. Roll another space. And we can get that for the hero sword, which is beautiful. Definitely going to be taking that. Thank you, sir. It's really, really good. Going against looks like just a spike shield plus a uh, pan broom with a little bit of food. Should be able to take this one home because our DPS is better than theirs. Thank you. Um, Let's see here. Should we go another spike shield? We could. It's never a bad thing. Let's do it just because we can and we have the space to do it. And we got it on sale, which is even better. We'll take that. We might be able to rock a falcon blade here. That can turn into something fun. Uh, gonna get a steel goober with a hammer. Disgusting creature. This looks like a dagger build if I've ever seen a dagger build. Honestly. Uh, but we should kill him now while he's still weak. Until in the future where he gets super strong, because that's definitely gonna happen. Thank you, sir, for that W. I appreciate you. Boom, let's get you, you, roll. Ooh. That's awkward. We can get a steel goober of our own. I say we go Falcon Blade, though. Yeah, I say we probably just go Falcon Blade. I think that is probably the better choice. Roll. Don't really like anything here. Except garlic, maybe, but roll. Okay. All right, I'll get all three of those. I think that'll be straight. We need the space. Jewels is always good, and another banana would be great. Going against a poison build. A little bit of food with torch and hero sword. Spike should help us out a lot here, considering he has two different forms of DPS. Um, and that's I'm pretty sure Spikes was our biggest form of DPS there. More than likely. Let's see. Oh, it was actually the second form. Um, but yeah, Spike's uh 26 damage right there. <laughs> pretty damn nice. Um, so boom, boom, boom. Banana can go there. We can use the space for the jewels, and that should be straight. I will take that for sure. Going against a poison bill. He's already got the dev scythe as well. There's going to be a lot of poison. A nasty amount of poison at the beginning of the game here. 16, 13, 14. We definitely take an L here. Woo. Good game, though. You lucky bastard. Um, Let's buy you. We'll also buy the chip, Ruby. I'm going to pass on the stamina side for now. To get a blueberry, not too bad. That might be a mana torch fal uh, falcon blade bill. Am I oh, we should have got that health potion at the beginning. Can we pull for a health potion? And we got a freaking mana. Um, ah, come on. All right, hold up. I'm thinking about our options right now because this thing just gave me a bunch of mana. The game just gave me a bunch of mana, and we had a health potion at the beginning. We should have picked that up. Um, we got this on sale. We have to do that. We can go Mana Thirst here. Mana Thirst into Falcon Blade, potentially. Especially since we got the Flawless Sapphire, which we can generate that mana from. We got this. If we can get a health potion, we can turn that into a Mana Potion. And then we'll have Mana Potion, Falcon Blade, plus some Mana Thirst, which is a lot of mana generation. I don't know how good that's going to go. Honestly. Because that's what? 0. 0.5, a 0. 0.7, and a 0. 0.5. It's going to be a 1.7 mana uh, or stamina um, cost, which is a lot, especially considering that we're going to be increasing the speed of those weapons by 30%, which means they're going to use even more mana. So hopefully we can keep it up. TBH, don't know if we are going to be able to keep it up, but I can hope. Um, let's see here. I could put a banana down here. Make that banana faster. Put that there. You can go in there and you can go in there. 
I think that'll be straight. We'll also get the uh, get the Corrupted Crystal. Since it's on sale, why not? Going against a Hero Sword with a Torch and a Dagger. Not sure he's going to win this one. He's getting a lot of out of stamina, though, because of our double shield, which is good. And that's probably why we won. Ripping him of his stamina. What should we go with here? I don't even know. I feel like we're going mana. So I feel like we should go leaf. For the sake of mana. TBH. Yeah, let's go leaf. Oh my god. Game. The mana generation. You guys are a little bit, a uh, little bit crazy. Man. Um. I don't even know. I'm so close to a Falcon Blade. I don't want to get rid of this. And I, all I need is a healing potion and I can get mana toy. I, I, I don't even know what to get rid of. I really don't want to get rid of anything, to be honest. So I just won't. I just won't get rid of anything. I'll just keep it just like this. Um, We can even just turn all these so they can all get the buff from the hero sword. Nah, that can go there. Um, This can go here. With the hopes of being able to combine all of these like that. That works. Um, I can go on that because I don't really know what else to put it on. Unless I just use this, which is an option to put it on that. That's probably going to be a highest form of DPS to Hungry Blade, especially since we're getting that regeneration now. That can go there. This can go there. You can come. Well, don't combine. I'm probably going to sell you. Um, regeneration, of course, and then we can use the box of riches. All right, that's looking good. That's looking good. Going against a little bit of a critical. He's only got one dagger. Makes me a little bit happy. I feel like I... Uh, he hit us so hard at the beginning. I lost hope in the middle of saying that sentence. But looks like we're winning now. As long as he stops critting on us. Yeah, yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. Nice. I'll take that. Boom. Nice combination. Um, We can sell the speedy speeds now. We can even sell one more just to get the perfect sapphire, bro. Just to get the perfect sapphire. Or I can get the next round. Um, let's actually move this over here like that. Make that a lot faster. 20% faster. This is also 20% faster. And we can rock that like so. This guy can just go here for the leaf. That can go there. And honestly, bro, I'm going to buy this. I'm going to buy that. And I'm also going to buy this. For the sake of having it. That can get a nice combination. And we'll get the sack for space. I think that's the game plan. Versus a ripshaw blade, regeneration is going to be eaten alive. Um, but we're not really utilizing your generation that I think about it since we just turned this into a mana torch. So I guess that really doesn't matter, huh? Um, but yeah, with vampiric gloves, I think we take this W. Oh, we're out of stamina a lot, though. Yeah, we're gonna have to work on that stamina usage for sure. Yeah, I think we lose because of that stamina usage, too. Damn. It'd be nice if there was a jewel that gave you stamina as you hit things. Although that would, that might kind of would have been a little bit overpowered. Unless we get more bananas, we only have two. Or maybe even a stamina potion would be good too. This is pretty close. Wow, big critical there. But yeah, we that stamina usage was a little bit too much, to be honest. Let's sell you so we can finally get this guy. Put you there. Um, damn. I feel like I need to drop a weapon. Stamina usage is way too high. We can drop this until we get a blueberry. You really don't matter. So yeah, drop you until we can get a blueberry. It is your... Did you... Was it just called a bum? That just happened. It is your do-rag, you asshole. Uh, nice job. You just won. League of Legends streamer... Pobelter? I don't know what that word is. <laughs> but I won League of Legends. What does that mean? I've never played that game in my life. Thank you, though. I appreciate it. 
And congratulations for what? What did I do? What? I don't understand. Um. Anyways, <laughs> going against uh, Hungry Blade plus Poison Dagger with a lot of poison, actually. I mean, Poison Goober, a lot of poison. Twenty-two poison on us. That is not a fun amount of poison. We need to get a uh, a mana orb. We're generating a lot of mana. We could definitely utilize that effect from the mana orb. Because right now, the only thing that's keeping us afloat, honestly, is the healing from the uh, mana thirst. It's the only thing keeping us afloat. And he's probably going to win this just because of the potions proccing right then. More than likely. And the poison as well is pretty nasty. 42 right there. Disgusting. Um, Yeah. Even if we had 35 slow at home, he was 60, 70% slower. 2.2 2 second cooldown there. 4 second cooldown there. Yeah. That's a pretty nasty. We need to get a mana orb. Um, I'm going to buy you, though. Roll. Oh, man. Hmm. Um... Um, he was against you just a second. Oh, this is, oh, that was him. I, is he like a famous streamer or something? Cause you said, oh, so I won against a League of Legends streamer named Poe Belster. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha. Hell yeah. Tell him a good game or something. I'm assuming <laughs> just tell him a good game. <laughs> if he's streaming, I don't know if he's streaming, but yeah. I was so confused. Um, but I, I say I sell a torch here. We got another hungry blade. We could turn this hungry blade into another mana torch or mana thirst, which can be good. Even if we don't turn it into a mana thirst, the regeneration that we get from the leaf will help us in this because this converts regeneration into vampirism, which increases the damage the hungry blade does and helps us with our survivability, which is good. So I think that's what we do. And probably get a Dijon lamp because we need a Dijon lamp. So let's sell you. We can also sell the hero sword. Um, we'll just turn this into a vampire gloves. I don't want to. I don't want to suffer any longer. Okay, I don't want to suffer any longer. Um, we'll put you here. Knock this guy down a peg, which is good. Put that guy right there. Mana generation is gonna be crazy now. We can buy that, buy that, and roll for a mana orb, which the game doesn't want to give me, unfortunately. It's just fine though, it's just fine. We got three lives, okay? We have three lives. So, you know, we're okay. Hopefully. Um, yeah, we're rock with this though. This will be good. Going against Ostrom. He's got a crew. Why? Interesting. Uh, don't really know what he's doing, but he's got a crew with staff, so that's the thing. Got a lot of mana generation as well. I wonder if he's betting on the activations on the mana orbs. Doesn't seem like it because he doesn't really have. Well, he does. He has four blueberries, double mana orb. That goes as an invulnerability from the book of or the glowing crown. Now, um, I don't really understand this guy's build. If I'm being honest, we should definitely destroy this guy. <laughs> should definitely beat him because I really don't understand what he's trying to accomplish with this build. To be honest, so that was a whew. that was a lot of damage. And dead any moment now. And dead. There we go. Good game. All right, game. I need you to give me a mana orb. Okay, vampire. Okay, I'll take that. All right. Um, I will actually take this. Roll. Ah, come on. The game's been an asshole. Um, I need these jewels, though. So I'll definitely take the jewels. I need them. We can switch this situation up a little bit. Actually, no, I could just put that there and do that. That works. That works. Don't really have to switch this situation up at all. All right, nice. That should be good. What are we going against? Ugh, a mana thirster of his own. Okay. I don't think he's going to proc, though. He doesn't have any activations for that, which is good. He's also got the Gingerbread Jerry, bro. Gingerbread Jerry is so good when you're rocking Mana Orb. I've never been able to do it myself, but... You can only imagine, because this literally uses heat, um, the Clover, plus the Mana. 
in order to generate the uh, maximum health, the regeneration, and then the empowerment. Which you can easily get everything you need for Ginger Bear Jury just from the activation of Mana Orb. So, which is really good. If I can run into a Ginger Bear Jury of my own, that'd be great. Um, do we beat this guy or no? I mean, his health regeneration seems to be pretty damn nasty. He's also got 32 poison on us, which is dangerous. We're staying in there, though, from our healing, it seems. Hopefully, we can slow him down. He's at 50% slower right now versus ours. Ours is a one-second cooldown. His is a 1.74. Oh, we're taking a lead so far, which is good. Oh, his freaking mana orb just proc though. Gingerbread Dairy did as well. Woo! We still won, though. We almost lost that. I was extremely close. But boom. Nice little situation thing there. Um, do I want those to combine? I don't think so. I don't think I want you guys to combine. Not yet, though. Not yet. I need a mana orb. I say I buy this and just try to... There we go. Yes. That is absolutely gorgeous. Where am I put it? <laughs> um, I can move you up, put you there. Let's not combine. If I get me another mana orb, I'll combine. But I don't have another mana orb, so I'm not going to combine. Um, I don't need you there. I need you on the banana, I think. I could just do that. This can go there for now. That'll be good. I said Bob Ross. <laughs> um, let's roll. Okay, Shield of Valor. I like, I like that. Roll. And I'll just buy that. I'll just buy that. Oh, another DJ lamp would be good for the activation. That would be really good, actually. Uh, let's get let's get the DJ lamp. Let's get the DJ lamp. We're not gonna be able to buy both, unfortunately, but at least we'll be able to get one, which will actually be really good. CBH. So, yeah, going against uh, Dark Saber build with poison. Dark Saber increases its damage from debuffs. Debuffs are gonna be poison, cold, and blind, which is gonna be dangerous considering he's got all of those. So this thing's gonna be doing a lot of damage. 18 to 23 already, and it's still stacking up. Pretty damn nasty. We're gonna have to rely heavily on our uh, our regeneration here from vampirism, regeneration in general, and then the healing that we get from the mana thirst. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do it because this thing is doing 25 to 30 damage and is only increasing from there. However, we're making it a little bit slower. Big criticals from both sides. Um, and we lose. God damn it. God damn it. That thing was doing 32 to 37 damage. Pretty damn nasty. And then he also had the cursed dagger on it. Wow. 1% accuracy and a 1% critical chance per debuffs. This critical chance was a 49. He was putting blind on us from the mana generation. Slowness because of the flawless sapphire and then poison because of pretty much everything that he has given him poison. Pretty damn good, though. Um, I will sell the spike shield in order to buy the shield of Valor. We can move both of these guys here to have slots for it. And then we could put uh, the mana gems down, which will be good. Because now we can actually have a chance of our DJ lamp proccing, which is great. Because that's going to give us a three shield, three shield at one or two. Um, which would be eight, and we only need seven for that to proc, which is awesome. Um, and getting a second DJ lot would just help that process even faster. Combining there would be great too, and then I could just rock that roll. Another blueberry could be nice. I'll get both of those. I'm actually going to move this up here. Just because I want it to be fast. Only reason. Um. Not sure I want this situation to go. We can actually just move this like that. Boom. Try to make the most of this, the most of this uh, regeneration situation that I can. I think that'd be good, though. Oh, okay. I haven't seen a build like this before. Double poison ammo on a lightsaber. Probably wants to turn that into a, a dark saber, more than likely. Interesting, though. Is he going to run out of mana or stamina? I mean, he does have the stamina potion, which is probably going to be used anytime now. 
He's lasted this battle so far pretty damn long. Did we proc? No, we didn't fucking proc because I don't have it on anything. We would have proc here too. That proc might have saved us this battle. But uh, these things are doing pretty damn a, a good amount of damage. However, we might still be able to come out on top here because we bypass his shield, which is great. Considering, <laughs> I'll take that though. We bypass his shield because of the uh, the 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 these. 100% chance to attack health directly. So anything dealing with shield is pretty much... We pretty much win. If they rely on shield to stay, stay alive. Let's sell that. Um, let's put the gin here for that chance of proccing. That'll help us a lot. Boom. Boom. Roll. We sh could get another gin for the sake of getting another gin. It's on sale. Let's we'll see why not. Um, put the blueberry down. Somewhere else. <laughs> That would be a lot better. Um, I think that's great. I think that's great. Let's see how we do verse. Oh, what the? That's disgusting. Okay. Tusky Piercer combined with the Fortuna's Grace. I haven't seen this before. Have not seen this before. Let's see how good it goes, though. 54 damage off the dome. That is nasty. That is nasty damage. Okay. Did we proc? Okay, we just proc, which is great for us because we needed that DPS. I think he was out DPSing us. Um, but huge proc for us. We're not really critting though, which is going to be a problem. Woo, there we go. And it seems like we could also like heal through all of that um, because of the vampirism and because of Mana Thirst heals us as well, which is great. Good game. Um, let's get the acorn for the crits. So let's get another DJ lamp. It's on sale. Holy Jesus. I got two options. I got two options here. I can either go for a second mana thirst or I could just use a mana orb for the sake of using mana orb. I say I go for a second mana thirst though. I have the jewels in order to get that mana generation up there. So I don't really need to rely on two mana thirst or through two mana orbs to get there. Even if I, you know, even getting that other mana thirst will help anyways. We're just going to lose out on a vampirism, um, but we'll still have that healing from having double mana thirst anyways. So that's good. We'll reserve both of those. I don't think we're going to be able to buy both next round because we're going to get 15. That's going to be 19. We're only going to be able to buy one. But I mean, we do have three rounds left, so that's a good thing. That's a really good thing. Um, we can we can move you somewhere else. We don't necessarily have to be there. Move you up by one just because I need to put this here. Um, we can. We don't really need jewels anymore. We can just uh, we can actually sell you, sell you. We can um, put this somewhere. There, that works. That works. Um, actually, yeah, I want you to be activated because you have the speed from the Vampire Gloves. I think it's a little bit better. I just realized this only had two activations. Literally just a source. We could have we could have doubled down on the activations. That is crazy how we could have literally doubled down on those activations. Um, all right, that'd be great. That's awesome. Okay. We could even combine these, I think. Yeah, let's combine those for no reason. Um, going against looks like a hammer combined with a Tuscan Piercer build with a lot of mana generation for no reason, it seems. Um, but he's definitely got that uh, haha, resist debuff situation going for him. Good thing we don't really inflict debuffs on him though, so that's really really good. There goes our proc for the um, for the mana or uh, the mana orb and the DJ lamp more than likely 32 damage. Yep, 66 crit, beautiful 89 on us though, insane. Looks like we both have high DPS, um, for sure. Is ours a little bit higher though? Ooh, hit him again, hit him again. Disgusting, I'll take it. Yes, sir. Nice combination there, get the big boy gym. You deserve that, you deserve that, you deserve that. We, our mana generation is impeccable. Absolutely impeccable. Um, We got one more round left. I kind of want to switch up, switch up the situation that we got here though. Um, Let's move that down. So that we can have an activation like so.
I honestly just want to sell the spike shields. I don't need it anymore, right? Because this gave me four, that gives me five. That'll be nine. That's enough for the activation on the degen lamp, uh, which means we can then move you over here. Move that over there so we can get another activation of the orb like so. And then for this last degen lamp, we could just use that like that. Make that a little bit faster, which would be good. And we don't even need this last gym situation, but I'll keep it anyways. Um, let's get the fanny pack guy. We don't really need the fanny pack. We really don't. Um, I'll buy it anyways. Let's roll. Uh, we can go even faster. And let's get that too. Why not? Let's see how well we do versus ooh, the bloodthorniest bloodthorn build. Let's see if we can win against this guy. I don't know. I mean, I feel like we're pretty stacked as far as mana generation goes. So I'm feeling a little bit confident here. Feeling a little bit confident. That's going to be a lot of shield that we're going to have to pierce you though. He's got double vampiric shields. Um, and he's also got high DPS because of the bloodthorn. So hopefully we'll be able to out heal and out DPS this guy up. Uh, but we do hit through shields though, which means we probably win this. <laughs> because we have that 100% chance. I was wondering why his shield wasn't going down. It's because we was hitting the fucking his health this entire time. Did we proc there? We even procced. Pretty nasty. Hell yeah. I want to, I should probably switch this up. This one attacks faster. It's a 0.88 versus a 1.23 because of the Vampiric Glove. So this one proccing is probably better. It would be higher DPS at least, so. Yeah, let's uh, do that. That's uh, that's better. Um, And then boom, make it even faster because why not? And then we could just buy this for the sake of buying it. Um, And yeah. Yeah, and then I'll just buy that. Last game. Last game, last match. Uh, you are weird. You don't have daggers, but you have one fast freaking hammer. That is one fast hammer. What is he relying on? Just crit? Just a critting hammer? With triple lucky pigs? For an 87% chance to stun. That is almost a 100% chance to stun. But no daggers. And he's removing a lot of your stamina because he has double shield of Valor. Which is evident with my stamina right here, but... I mean, we don't use that much stamina anyways, because we only have uh, Mana Thirst. So we should be able to beat this guy because we don't have a super stamina heavy build. Just crazy. That was a good game. I've never seen a build like this. This is a, like... This is a stunning build. Because not only is he removing your stamina... With the shield of a lords, which means if you don't have enough stamina to use your weapon, your weapon is not going to be used. He also has an 87% chance to stun you every time he hits. Every 0.7 seconds. Every 0.7 seconds, he hits you for an 87% chance to stun you for 0.5 seconds. So realistically, you only have a 0.2 second window to hit him. And then, if you don't have stamina to hit him, you just won't hit him. The only reason we won this, in my opinion, is because we didn't use that much stamina anyways. And because he couldn't keep up stamina usage-wise with his own build. It was going way too fast. So stamina usage-wise, it hurt him. Even though he did have three bananas. And they were all being pretty damn fast bananas, too. Um, very fast bananas. He had double burrs on them, guys, too. Wow. Very interesting build. It's like a stun lock build or something like that. I've never seen a build like this. That's actually kind of cool, though. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> it's a really fast hammer. <laughs> Stunning the shit out of people. With triple pigs. Wow. Pretty damn cool. I'll take that W, though. Thank you, sir. That was a fun one. We got a lot of jewels right there. We got a lot of jewels. Jeez, double perfect sapphire with a flawless sapphire and then a regular sapphire, giving us that shield that we needed to proc on the mana thirst and then all the mana generation we could ever want for the healing and the proccing of the mana orb. Holy crap, we did 349 damage. 
he did 242, which isn't bad. I mean, he got this far with just this build, which I'm pretty sure he beat a lot of people. Pretty scary stuff. Good game.